And in conclusion, I would like to confirm that the drug-induced tirade of Erica Keynes is indeed the reason she's no longer with The Cutting Edge or with WRCW, a station that prides itself on a drug-free environment. When we announced that Erica was no longer going to be with the station, we cited creative differences in respect for her privacy. Huh. Respect. However, our former star went public in a very unforgettable way. So as general station manager for WRCW, I speak for all of us. When I say that Erica Kane should seek the help that she desperately needs... Excuse me, Larson. Excuse me. As the owner and CEO of WRCW, I speak for all of us. Erica, we wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you. Who authorized you to speak for the station? I am the general manager, Adam. That gives you carte blanche to trample Erica's privacy rights? It does not. I didn't say anything she hadn't revealed herself. You confirm she's a duck. Adam, the Empress is wearing no clothes. That you, there was no need for you to announce that. To sell a friend down the river in front of the press. Adam, I beg to differ with you. The spokesperson takes their orders from me. It is my call. From a legal standpoint, to protect the station, honesty is the best policy. I called you Erica, your friend. My mistake. She's an addict. Her brain is screwed up from painkillers. You know what happens to addicts, Adam? According to Narcotics Anonymous, they end up in one of three places. Jails, institutions, and funeral homes. Addiction is an illness. Oh, fine. Then you get a rehab center, and you make sure she gets well. But you want to know something? Addicts have to help themselves. Until then, they're going to lie, and they're going to cheat, and they're going to steal from their own grandmothers to get a fix. I did you a favor. You should be saying thank you. You interrupted a live broadcast. You broke my camera. Uh, with no need to overreact, Denise. I'll see you. Great, great. Just get out. Take your trash with you. My uh, lawyer will be in touch. Uh, fine. I can't wait. What's going on? Is Erica okay? Well, she left. She was in the uh, vulture. I had to stop her. It's okay, bro. We understand. You know, and you, you're part of the blame for this circus. Me? Yes, you. You were the first to jump in to, uh, to capitalize on the situation. Well, you're as bad as Elise Lee. I'm sorry that your wife had a breakdown. Well, you're sorry? But... You're sorry? You know what you're sorry for? That you didn't catch it live on the cutting edge. Yeah. You know, you, you, your heart's as small as this man's brain. Excuse me. You hired her, didn't you? Just for the record, I inherited her. Uh... Excuse us. <laughs> <sighs> Go home. I beg your pardon. That's an order. You've done enough damage for one night. Where's your coat? Adam. Say good night, Liza. Yeah, sure, that's right. Close the barn door after the horse is out. Mm -hmm. Ever notice you have a terrible habit of saying the wrong thing at the wrong time? Don't mind Erica. She was wasted. A paranoid harangue about Tad and me. It was very pathetic. Well, I noticed you didn't go running up to the podium to deny it. But why should you? You love stirring up trouble. Good night, Adam. <coughs> Good night. Mm -hmm. You get yours. <laughs>